Hello Leo, welcome to Supernova Moon Tarot. My name is Starsha. This reading is gonna be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. If this is your first time, welcome to the channel. It's a pleasure to be in your energies. Cross watchers, you know you always welcome. Returning viewers, thanks for coming on back. And subscribers, do not forget to hit that bell. It's a win every time. Leo, let's go ahead and dive straight into your energy. I'm gonna start out by using the All She Wrote Tarot deck made by me. And let's see, let's see what's going on. Now, the first download that I received before we even get into the cards is Leo, some people kind of confuse your confidence for cockiness, okay? And not in the best of light. But this is, this is what I'm going to tell you, Leo. Continue to walk in your truth Continue to be where you are um, in regards to, you know, how you feel about yourself, okay? What you know to be true um, and stand on it. Stand on it, no matter what people say, okay? No matter how your confidence makes people feel. It's like your light makes them feel insecure, inadequate, okay? Um, you know... It's like you steal the spotlight no matter where you go. And it's kind of annoying, okay? It's kind of annoying um, for some people. Um, so you could be in an industry or you could be um, a part of a friend group or a part of just some type of um, entity where there's cohabitation involved. So this could be a living situation. This could be a friend group. This could be a work group. But you get on people's nerves, okay? You get on people's nerves because you're confident, you're usually right, you look good, like you steal the attention from everybody. Like if you have a girlfriend group or a guy friend group, it's like, mm, do I really wanna go out with Leo? Because if we go with Leo, Leo's gonna steal the show. Leo is going to take all of the attention, okay? Do we really wanna invite them anywhere? Like, dang, you always conversing with everybody, like everybody always loves you. What is it about you that people are just so obsessed about? Like, damn, Leo, can you just go somewhere? <laughs> like, for real, no, really, can you just go somewhere? Okay, so that's the energy that I'm picking up. Now let's go ahead and dive and see um, exactly who this is, what this is. Now we have this soulmate energy here, so it's like, no matter where you go, okay, no matter who you talk to, no matter who you connect with, the vibes are good. Um, people feel as if they know you, okay? Um, or they feel that you are probably popular or something like that, or you've gotta have some type of social media platform. You gotta be well known. You gotta be doing something good with yourself because you're fresh to death. You're fresh to death and it's, I don't know, I feel like people who are looking at you from the outside, not everybody, but there's a lot of hater energy going on, right? Because you just come off as this soulmate energy. You're so attractive, you're so alluring, you're so um, comfortable to be around. Um, you might find yourself, you know, being the therapist for a lot of people, <laughs> okay? People just kind of open up to you, not even knowing why they're telling you all their business or not even knowing why they feel so comfortable with you. But you've been given this gift, okay? It's like you have an old spirit, an old soul, okay? People just really, truly feel comfortable around you and you just give off this soulmate energy like, I've been knowing you for a long time, Leo. I've been knowing you for a long time. Now, what's crossing this energy here? I wouldn't be surprised if a hater card came out. <laughs> Sexual energy, okay. All right, Leo, calm. All right, now. People ready to put out this fire because you give in sexual energy. You give in big zaddy, zaddy energy. You give in hot mommy energy, okay? People kind of want to wipe you up, settle down with you, okay? They want, they want a piece of you. They want a piece of the spotlight, okay? They want to be able to have you on their arm and say that you belong to them or I'm associated with you. Big sexual energy here, big soulmate energy here, big zaddy energy, big mommy energy. Yes, yes, yes. You're giving it. You're giving it. You're giving what needs to be given. All right. Now, what's the root of this energy for the Leo? Mm. Karmic connection, spiritual awakening. It's like when you get rid of the toxicity in your life, right? Or when you get rid of a toxic partner or a toxic situation. So it's like you're realizing the snakes around you, Leo. 
you're realizing the haters around you, the karmic connections that you've invested in, people that you rocked with for a little a little bit, and now you see that they got the green eye. It's like you being awoken to this spiritual awakening, to the karmic connections, to the haters, you know what I mean? But still, you press on. Still, you rise, okay? There's a newness in you. Maybe some of you guys are deciding to really take it up a notch with your skincare regimen, with your spiritual um, lifestyle, okay? Mind, body, spirit, okay? Skin, all right? Money, all right? And within. <laughs> <laughs> You're elevating all of those things. You're elevating all of those things because true beauty is within. And when you clean out, you know, clean out the bull, right? I don't know. You just you just shine different now. You shine different now. And mm, you're rubbing people the wrong way. You're rubbing the people the wrong way. But the same people that you're rubbing the wrong way really wants to rub one out with you as well. That's crazy. So we have, I'll be there when you need me in attraction. So you might have people coming back into your life. Um, even if you kind of like push them to the side or saying that I don't want to be with you no more. Well, they still telling you that Leo, I I'm going to be there when you need me. And um, you could get it anytime. I don't care if you ignore me. I don't care if you put me on block. I don't care if you um, don't even pay me no mind anymore. I got all eyes on you. You looking attractive as hell. Like, I don't know what I was thinking, behaving the way that I was behaving. I don't know what I was thinking to think that something else was better than you, but mm, you proving me wrong, damn. And, it, and this kind of like love, hate energy that's coming towards you, Leo. It's kind of like love, hate energy. So what's on your mind at this time? Victory, see you winning right now. You winning right now. These people are saying, I'm addicted to you, Leo. All right, we have crown chakra in reverse as well. Mm, let's talk about this now. Let's talk about this. Okay, so there's an emphasis on the ego here. There's an emphasis on you making sure that you, you know, remain humble, you know, remain appreciative as to where you're at right now. Um, you don't want your ego to get the best of you here. You want to make sure that you have your addictions under control as well. We have big victory here. We have addiction. I'm addicted to you. And we have crown chakra in reverse. So this is kind of like a warning, I would say. Um, you know, don't let your ego get the best of you in a particular situation. Be able to, you know, disconnect from some of your addictions. Um, keep that in check because this moment of fame is what I'm hearing, or this moment can quickly turn dark if you don't cultivate it the way that you should, all right, is what I'm getting. So let's see the energy that's coming towards you, but you're in a victorious energy. You're addicted to winning. You're addicted, you're addicted to leveling up, all right? But you don't want this to consume you, all right? You don't want this to turn dark, okay? Because I know you see that you're getting the attention. I know that you see that you're gaining the following, all right? And you know your worth, you know your value, you know your gifts, you know what you can bring to the table, all right? And so whatever it is that you're doing or, you know, this elevation of, of self, all right, is very 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 attractive but this is kind of like a message to you to you know be mindful of, of of the blessings that you receive and don't abuse it all right don't abuse it because these gifts that are being bestowed upon you you're supposed to be using it for the greater good all right so let's see what energy is coming towards the leo sun moon rising venus and north node what energy is coming towards you what energy is coming towards the leo spirit what energy is coming towards Ooh. Mm. All right. Wanting to start a family. So some of you guys might be starting a family soon. Some of you all might be meeting your soulmate and you're not scared. You're not scared to fall in love. You're not scared to, you know, um, really give love a try. You are releasing all of your fears and insecurities and you're willing to fall in love. Somebody is coming towards you wanting to fall in love. Somebody is coming towards you wanting to start a family and they not scared no more. See, you intimidate a lot of people with this energy that you hold, this light that you hold, this beauty okay this beauty all right but beauty is only skin deep all right it's only it's it's beauty's only skin deep yeah 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 okay temptations so remember that you know eventually all this 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 shell this outer image is going to fade away but it's your character you know it's your true self um that matters the most okay how you treat people um you know um is going to be really important what seeds are you sowing um are they seeds of you know um 
destruction or is it seeds of growth, destiny? Are you uplifting people or are you putting them down? Okay. Make sure that you remain humble. Make sure that you show, you know, truly who you are and who you are is a child of the divine. And people should know that when they come, um, you know, in your energy. And I feel like that's what you are giving. All right. But still, still, all right. Be mindful of the ego. Be mindful of your addictions and don't get too obsessed with the material. Don't let your success get to your head and make you become this person. This may be a rude person. You know, maybe you, you, you starting to have a, <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. You know, watch your mouth, watch your words. Okay. Um, watch the energies that you're putting out into the universe because it's going to come back. And you know, the gifts that have been given to you can be taken away. So what I'm getting is that you're really coming in towards, towards this, I don't know. You're going to be leveling up here. I'm definitely seeing fame for something that you do, recognition, okay? But just, you know, cherish that gift and, and, and be responsible with it. How you see yourself, okay? Twin flame, lust. I mean, you're looking good. People are going to start really coming towards you and wanting to take you out. I have my feelings to protect my heart. It's almost like people have been lurking in the dark, waiting for an opportunity to come be with you. Now, this could be a water sign that you were once with in the past that wants to return back. They want to tell you that they're sorry, Leo. They want another chance. They should have supported you when they were with you. They didn't believe in you. But now, you know, spirit has kind of set this person on their behind, all right? And now they, spirit has made them look at themselves and realize, are you foolish? Are you crazy? Look what it is that you, you know, missed out on. Look at Leo shining. Look at Leo elevating. Look at Leo focusing on themselves. I mean, looking good, just completely changing their life around. Look at Leo doing the work of the divine. So they've gotten this new uh, perception of you, right? They want to be healthy, all right? Right? Maybe this person was extremely toxic in your life and now they want to come back, apologize, and just do it all over again. They want to do it all over again with you, Leo. All right. So how are how do you see yourself at this time? How do you see yourself, Leo? Sun Moon Rising Venus in the North Node. How do you see yourself at this time? How does the Leo see themselves? Mm, um, you're ready for a public relationship. You're ready for a new partner. You're ready for newness, a new opportunity, and you're willing to go public with it when you find I'm the one okay without the red flags because you're getting rid of yours so the person that you want to connect with they better be getting rid of theirs they better be doing the work just like you do the work right and you're ready to take this relationship this partnership and go public I want you healthy you know what I'm saying I want you working on yourself I want you dedicated to God I'm hearing I want you to believe in God I want you to believe in your calling I want you to believe that there's a purpose for you you know you have your standards of what you want your partner to be all right not that you guys have to be exactly the same because you know what I'm saying? You want a little flavor. You don't mind your partner being different. But at the end of the day, they got to be on that same energy that you on. They got to meet you where you're at. Okay. They got to meet you where you're at. Now, how are these prospects or how are these suitors seeing you at this time? They want to talk to you communication. So them DMs is going to go up. Them text messages is about to go up. Leo, you are moving up. It's not even a game right now. It's really not a game. But what are your hopes and fears at this time, Leo? What are your hopes and fears, you know, um, being able to resolve conflict. You don't want no conflict coming your way. You don't want no drama coming your way. You don't want no toxic people coming your way. Emotional fulfillment in reverse. I feel like maybe some of the people that are coming towards you really doesn't fulfill you. Um, it's like, okay, yeah, we had conflicts. I already let that go. Like, what else do you have to say? I'm really not interested in this anymore. I really want to let it go because it, it's not going to fulfill me. Like we can, you know what I'm saying? I forgive you or whatever. We can move on from it, but I don't want old. I'm really picking up Leo that you really, really ready for the new. All right. So we have a polyamorous connection going on. Honestly, Leo, you're in the connection of just kind of dating around, seeing what's out there, not too quick to jump into anything because you know that you bringing it. Okay. You have a lot to, I'm hearing, I have a lot to lose. Um, uh, you know, my image, my reputation. Um, and 
and I'm definitely getting that Leo you was not always this you know this individual um you were not always you know picture perfect you had to work <laughs> for this you know what I'm saying you had to really dig down deep in yourself doing that internal work and if you're not here this is where you're headed okay this is definitely where you're headed so any other messages let me see who's in your energy right now definitely an air sign is at the bottom of the deck your final person could be an air sign Libra Gemini Aquarius that you're going to be very emotionally available for and they're going to be available for you as well let's see who else is in your energy because I'm definitely picking up Leo people want to know more about you they want to date you they want to pick your brain is what I'm getting. Who's all in the Leo's energy at this time? Who's all in the Leo's energy? I'll take that stack. Any other? Ooh, I'll take this stack as well. Let's dig in and see who's in your energy. Mm, I'm excited. Okay. Ooh, we have a hater in reverse. We have fans. Okay. We have a, ooh, we have a hitman. That's crazy. People who once targeted you, now they want to come for you, but not in a negative way. They, they want to come for you in a way where they can, I don't know. I'm definitely getting sexual healing. Maybe they feel like you could heal them or they can heal you. I see a hater slash fan. It's a thin line between love and hate. Look at that. So you might be a social media influencer. You might have some type of platform. You might be a business owner, but you are popular. I'm getting that you're popular because if you're not if you don't have haters then you're, you're not doing something right right so you have a collective of people who are targeting you targeting you um in in a negative way targeting you in a positive way um i'm getting that oh we have a, a cultist that's in your energy who might be um, of indian descent all right um let's see who else is in the energy of the leo here we have a practitioner we have a twin flame in your energy we have a water sign a European see these are people these are all types of people so you're attracting people of all races here we have a copycat in your energy your spirit guide your partner's ex your partner's ex is in your energy or somebody else that you're dealing with has a partner and, and I'm getting a picking up a masculine energy here all right we have competitors in your energy you're clearly um, in some type of influencer in some type of way a secret admirer we have earth angel so you know as you continue to move forward as you continue to you know perform is what I'm getting You've got the protection of your spirit guides, but no, you've got a lot of people in your energy, past, present, and your future partner is up in here as well. And you're gonna see them, you're gonna meet them, but you are going to be slow. You're gonna be real slow in regards to making that final commitment. So let's see if there are any final, actually there is gonna be a final message. I'm just gonna dive straight into the angel oracle because I mean, this is it. I'm getting, I'm getting Michael Jackson. This is it. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right. So signs. Interesting. Let's see what these signs are. Listen, but I mean, it's cool to focus, you know, to talk about the people that are around you, but it's, this is all about you. You know what I mean? So continue to follow your spirit guides. You'll know if something or someone is for you, you're going to feel it. All right. You'll, you'll get the signs is what I'm getting. So let's read that and that'll conclude your reading. Let's see. So pay careful attention to the messages that the angels give you now. You've asked for a sign and they deliver it. Notice and trust these signs. You've asked for heaven to help you. Now it's up to you to pay attention to the evidence of their help. This card signifies that your angels are trying to get your attention with signs. They might ask a butterfly or a bird to fly near you, or they might compel you to hear a song several times. They might put an object in your past so that you have to notice it. Drawing this card is also a sign from your angels. They are trying to get through so please notice Ooh, you can ask your angels to give you a sign whenever you have a question or a decision to make usually it's not a good idea to specify what type of sign you'd like leave that up to the angels they are very good at making their presence known so I feel like your angels are very much so involved in your love life they're very much so involved in your career and 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 um Leo you know, you about to take off and I can't wait to see it. I'm all here for it. Congratulations. Keep up the good work. Keep pressing forward. Ignore the haters. Okay. Um, and that's all that I really have for you. You're looking very attractive here. I mean, it's very straightforward. Victory is yours. All right, Leo. It's been a pleasure being your energy. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll be, I'll be seeing you guys very soon. Bye.